everybody and welcome to Play It Again. I'm Sue. I'm so glad you joined me today. Thank you so very much for joining me and I hope you're all having a great day. Okay, today we are getting to an artist that we have never done on the channel before. Well, at least not on her own. Today we're going to do Bjork and we're going to review the song It's So Quiet. I remember when this song came out and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so fun, so upbeat, so quirky. And uh, today I thought, let's have some fun with this one. This is just a good fun song. There's nothing serious about this. It's just good fun. So today we're going to get into it. But before we get started, if you could all like my video and subscribe to the channel, if you have not already done so, it really does tell me I'm going in the right direction and I'm doing things that you like. All right, here we go. Bjork. It's so quiet. This is the official video for this one. So this one should be fun. Here we go. That's a disgusting bathroom. <laughs> When she does her screechy yell it is so great she just has so much power behind it and i just love that growly raw sound that she has this is a fun one with all of the dancing and the horns and a whole retro feel to it it's just an absolutely just it's just a, a song that makes you smile it's just absolutely a lot of fun anyway i hope you're enjoying this one i haven't seen this video and oh my gosh i don't know how long so it's really fun to revisit this and see it because it really does add to the song to actually see the video as opposed to just hearing the song. Anyway, I'm going to rewind it just a wee bit and we're going to get right back into it. I love that they have something that looks like the Tin Man on the sidewalk. <laughs> Simple, so what's the use? Wow! Of falling in Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
starts another big riot. You blow a fuse. <laughs> That was great. I absolutely love that. It was so much fun to watch that video too. I mean, dancing mailboxes and pillars with legs and things that looked like uh, the Tin Man on the street and all these people just coming out and dancing. It just, that was a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was excellent. And I love her voice. She's just got such a cool, cool sound to her voice and that rawness that I was talking about earlier. And she has that kind of vibrato that she puts on some of her words that I just find so cool and uh, yeah she's just a very neat singer you know it's her when you hear it because she has a very very distinctive voice anyway my fun fact for the day is that that was actually a cover of a song that the song was called blow a fuse though and it came out in 1948 and the actress and singer Betty Hutton had done this song and I have actually heard this song and it is quite similar of course a little bit more Bjorkish uh, in this version of it but it is very similar nonetheless and it has a very cool kind of sound I loved the horns in this song absolutely loved the horns interestingly though this was actually a very big hit in the UK it was her biggest hit Bjork's biggest hit in the UK and it kind of paved the way for some of her other songs to hit the top 20 in the UK. But Bjork actually, in 2002, she almost disowned this kind of song. In 2002, when she came out with her a greatest hits album she didn't actually even put this song on there even though it was her biggest hit in the UK now the reason that she she apparently didn't put this song on the album was because she felt that it was so different than all the other things that she did she felt that it was just a cover version that didn't really represent her and therefore she didn't want to put it on her greatest hits album I kind of have a bit of a problem with that I think people that when they do songs they need to embrace them especially when they are something that made them so famous. This actually broke her open in the uh, in the UK and 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 paved the way for a lot of other songs to come after. And I think it's kind of a little bit disingenuous, perhaps, to say that I'm going to dis I'm going to disown this song and I'm not going to play it or have it on my greatest hits album because you know I I don't like it. I just think that it was something that the people liked, and I think probably her fans would have appreciated having this song on her greatest hits album but that's only me you can give me your opinion about that in the in the comments i would i would love to hear what you have to say anyway i think that wraps it up for the day i hope you enjoyed that i know i did and everybody please have a joyful day bye bye <laughs>